Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no Lay me down behind the moon Tell me you'll be on real soon I don't wanna wait no I don't know kung rin yung mga palaka, but let's just ignore them. And it might be shouting sa video because ang layo na camera. Okay, hi! This is Era, and today I will be showing you how to make chocolate cupcakes. And if you might be wondering, bakit ang daming mga products dito? Um, you're not gonna use everything, but in partnership with Dutch Chocolates, we will be having our very first giveaway. So yes, yung ibang products dito ipapamigay natin, and yung iba dito gagamitin natin for our recipe today. So stay tuned, kasi sa bandang dulo ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mechanics and also the instructions kung gusto niyo sumali sa giveaway. And in this video, I will be showing you the recipe, the procedure, and also the costing na rin para sa magbabalak gawin to negosyo. And a little bit of life talk because I miss talking to you guys. I want to check up on you. But first, make sure to like and subscribe on my channel, Eris Journey, for more negosyo recipes. And also, you can follow my Facebook if you want shorter clips ng mga videos ko. And you can follow my Instagram as well. If you want to see some behind the scene pictures, videos, um, kasi nilalagay ko doon yung mga pictures and clips before siya mag air dito sa YouTube para mas updated ka. And also, if you want to get to know me personally outside of this kitchen. Okay, let's begin. All of the ingredients are going to be on the screen. If you want to take a screenshot, go for it. Also, ilalagay ko siya sa description down below. First, i preheat muna natin ang ating oven sa 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. And also, gagamit din ako ng improvised oven kasi para sa mga taong walang oven dyan, I got you girls and boys. So, gagamit ako dito ng kawa, dry heat to, and then lalagyan ko siya ng stand sa ibabaw para papatungan ng ating tray. And also, walang tubig sa ilalim to ha. Ipipreheat natin din siya ng medium heat for 10 minutes and then cover it. First, pagsamasamahin natin ang mga dry ingredients. Isif natin ang 2 cups of all-purpose flour. Pwede rin kayong gumamit ng cake flour, pastry flour, or yung tinatawag nilang tercera. So, isif din natin ang 1 half cup ng Dutch cocoa powder. So, what I love most about this product is that it's very affordable, very delicious, and also madali siyang mahanap because it's available in leading supermarkets such as SM Supermarket, Save More, Robinson Supermarket, Rustans, Shopwise, Landmark, Walter Mart, Pure Gold, and sa iba pang mga local chain supermarkets and grocery stores nationwide. 1 and 1 half teaspoon of baking powder, 1 half teaspoon ng baking soda, 1 half teaspoon ng salt. After that, i mix natin and then set aside ng muna natin siya. Sa ating wet ingredients, unahin na muna natin i-dissolve yung ating 1 teaspoon ng instant coffee powder. So any brand will do sa 1 cup ng hot water. After that, ilagay sa isang bowl ang 3 4 cup ng brown sugar at 3 4 cup ng white sugar. So, pinagmix ko sila since ang brown sugar mag add siya ng moisture sa ating cupcake. Then, isama ang 2 large eggs and then i-mix natin siyang mabuti. After that, add in our 1 half cup ng vegetable oil. One half cup evaporated milk, one teaspoon ng vanilla extract, and then ilagay natin ang ating coffee mixture. And then i mix lang natin mabute para matuno yung sugar. After that, 
i-combine natin yung dry ingredients at wet ingredients. Ihalo lang gradually ang dry sa wet. So, i-mix lang natin ang dahan-dahan basta wag lang ma-overmix ang ating batter dahil alam naman natin na di maganda ang kalalabasan ng cupcake pag na-overmix, magiging dry at matigas siya. After that, i-grease lang natin ng oil ang ating cupcake pan. If you don't like to use oil, you can use butter or lard. Then, lagyan natin ng 3 oz ng cupcake liner. So, itong cupcake liner na to, nabili ko to sa grocery store. So, gumamit ako dito ng 1 fourth cup to fill the cupcake liners. So, wag nyong i-overfill, wag nyong ipapantay kasi may tendency umapaw siya pag na-bake na natin. We could be dancing in the stars We could be floating all the way As long as I'm safely in your arms And it don't really matter where we stay Don't ask me After malagyan ng ating pan, itaktak lang natin para ma-release yung ibang air. Then, i-bake na natin sa ating oven. Again, kailangan nyo siyang i-preheat bago nyo i-bake. Okay, so 180 degrees Celsius, 15 to 18 minutes. Ang function up niya ay upper and lower. So, para naman sa ating improvised oven, I use a different pan. So, nilagyan ko din siya ng oil and then ng cupcake liner and then one fourth din na batter ang ginagay ko. The result is gonna be different kasi iba yung size nung pan na ginamit ko dito. But, that's okay. Para naman sa ating improvised oven, again, gumamit ako dito ng kawa, pinrehit ko rin siya. So, pag linagay niyo siya, takpan niyo ng mabuti para hindi lumabas yung init. I-bake din natin siya ng 15 to 18 minutes sa medium to low heat. And then, pag chinect niyo rin siya, use a toothpick or a knife or a fork. And pag walang sumamang batter, that means okay na yung ating cupcake. So, habang niluluto natin yung chocolate cupcake, let's talk about life. Um, I wanna check up on you. I wanna know, anong ginagawa mo ngayong quarantine or pandemic? How are you dealing with things emotionally? What are your struggles right now? I've known a lot of people or friends of mine who are struggling, whether financially, um, struggling sa career, kasi na-shaken yung mga plano. But I wanna know about you guys. You can comment down below kung ano yung mga struggles nyo lately. I know a lot of people, and maybe you're going through it then, who are trying to act strong. Not because gusto nilang magpaka-strong, but because they don't have a choice. Maybe this is you. Maybe sa'yo umaasa yung pamilya mo. Maybe you're a student na hindi na umaasa sa parents. You feel na parang mag-isa ka, walang tutulong sa'yo. You're not alone. Madaming tao sa paligid mo. Maybe you have friends, families, but you feel like pasan mo yung mundo. And a lot of you might have been going through this phase na where is God in this situation? The point of this is when you feel like everything is a burden or napakalaki ng responsibility mo and you don't know where God is in this narrative, this is, this is what I think and this is what I do. When the disciples were afraid nung paalis na si Jesus, Jesus said, um, 
I think he said, parang don't worry, my spirit, my spirit will be with you. And I couldn't understand what that meant until I realized every time I get sad and I feel like God is not with me or God is not there to help me, this is what I think. God is meeting me in my love language and God is displaying all my love language. When I discovered the Bible verse where God is saying, I will carry you through the hard times, that's physical touch. When he wants us to go to him and cry to him all our burdens, that's quality time. When he said, I love you in Isaiah 43 verse 3, that's words of affirmation. It becomes real to me, not just when I read the Bible, but when I provide to other people. I feel that God is with me because hindi lang ako yung kumikilis ng moment na yun. God is also moving and helping me para ma-sustain yung love language na yun. When you feel like na no, wala yung pagod mo pag niyayapos mo yung anak mo, yung magulang mo, o kung sino mang malapit sa'yo, maybe asawa mo. That's why in Justin Bieber's song, it says, when I, when I hold you, when you hold me, it feels so holy. Why? It's holy because that love na unconditional, that kind of love, mararamdaman mo lang when it's pure. And anything that is pure comes from God. So in that moment, na niyayapos mo yung anak mo, niyayapos mo yung mga loved ones mo, and nawawala lahat ng pagod mo, God is in that situation. And God is giving you that love that doesn't ask anything in return. So whenever I think I'm moving in this life alone, I know He's there guiding me. Not just guiding me from afar, but He is guiding me on the inside because His Spirit lives in me. And if you feel like you're moving alone, know that He is with you. And if you feel that it's becoming heavy, it's becoming a burden, know that you can rest in Him, you can cry, and you can cast your burdens on Him because He is ready and He is willing to sustain you. Okay? Yin lang. Let's get the cupcakes na. Why does it hurt so bad? So bad To lose something I never had Never had And again, let it rest muna bago nyo i-check kasi uh, pag tinanggal nyo siya sa oven or sa improvised oven natin, naluluto pa siya. So, give space pa bago nyo siya pag-insertan ng toothpick. So once you're done with that, magawa naman tayo ng chocolate ganache filling. So gumamit ako dito ng one cup na Dutch Premier chocolate bar, chopped. Pwede din kayong gumamit ng dark chocolate bar, milk chocolate bar, or semi-sweet. And then, one half cup ng all-purpose cream. Gumamit ako dito ng Alaska Crema. Any brand naman will do. So, yung all-purpose cream natin, papainitin lang natin siya. Enough para pag nilagay natin yung chocolate, uh, matutunaw siya. So, huwag yung masyadong lalaksan yung heat kasi baka masunog yung ating cream. Will you come back? And then, i-mix lang natin sila hanggang sa matunang yung chocolate. After that, i-set aside muna para lumamig. So sa ating chocolate buttercream frosting, gagamit ako dito ng 150 grams Dutch dark chocolate bar. 
So, chop natin siya. So, gagamit ako dito ng double boiler method. So, tutunawin muna natin siya. Pag tunaw na yung chocolate, hayaan lang muna natin siyang tumamig. Okay, so what I love most about Dutch chocolates is that madami siyang variety. So kung ayaw mong kumamit ng dark premium choco baking bar, or hindi siya available sa yo, you can use the premium chocolate bar, Belgian choco bar, bittersweet choco bar, white choco bar, unsweetened choco bar, and so much more. You can also check their website, dutchchocolates.com, for more products. So, gagamit ako dito ng 1, 200 grams unsalted butter, softened. So, gusto ko tong brand na to kasi masarap siya pero hindi siya super mahal. Enough lang kung nagbabala kayong ibenta tong chocolate cupcake na to ng hindi ganong kamahalan, saktong-sakto tong brand na to. Again, hindi dapat frozen yung ating butter and hindi din naman siya melted. Dapat room temperature lang siya. If you want me to tackle more about buttercreams, I have a video for that. I'll put the link down below. Again, ilagay na muna natin sa isang bowl ang ating buttercream. And then, gumamit tayo dito ng hand mixer. Ibit lang natin hanggang sa maging light and fluffy siya. If you're gonna use a manual beater, medyo may katagalan siya. But, ma-achieve nyo rin naman yung texture na kailangan. Basta, konting tiyaga lang. Next is, add in our one can, 380 grams ng condensed milk. Dapat chilled. And then, i-mix lang natin hanggang maging well combined sila. After that, isama na natin ng ating melted chocolate. So, on this part, hindi ko na hinalo kasi baka ma-overbeat. Kinakabahan ako. Um, gumamit na lang ako dito ng spatula and then finold ko na lang siya. So, gumamit ako dito ng improvised na pambutas ng cupcake. I use the metal straw na meron ako dito sa bahay. So, bubutasin lang natin siya sa gitna and then lalagyan natin ng chocolate filling. So, here's the technique. Um, pag gumamit kayo ng piping bag sa paglagay ng chocolate filling, tusukin nyo hanggang sa ma-reach nyo yung bottom part ng cupcake. So, mararamdaman nyo na napupuno na yung ating hole ng filling pag pinasil nyo siya and then napupush yung ating piping bag. So, the reason for this, kaya ako sinasabing talagang isagad nyo is because minsan pag sa ibabaw nyo lang uh, nilalagay yung piping bag, minsan mukhang nag-overflow na siya. But, pag hinati natin, makita ng customer na hindi pala na-fill. Yung sa ibabaw lang siya. So, mas best if talagang tutusukin nyo sa ilalim para pag hinati ng customer, talagang nag-overflow flow yung ating ganache. After that, i-decorate na siya using the chocolate buttercream frosting. And then, you can use the other ingredients or other products ng Dutch chocolates para pang decorate. For our decoration, gagamit ako dito ng chocolate coated biscuits ng Dutch, chocolate joysticks, and chocolate chips ng Dutch and white chocolate chips. Every item is available on all leading supermarkets nationwide.
So there's two ways para sa kanyang packaging. Pwede mo siyang i-package ng pang-isahan lang. Like for this, this is Cupcake Solo Box. Yan, nandiyan na rin yung size niya. This is 7 pesos. Binili ko siya sa Bakery Supply Store. But I think kung tinatamad kayong pumunta sa Bakery Supply Store, meron nito online sa Shopee, Lazada, Facebook Marketplace. How come the stars don't shine when it's day? How come the sky at night? The second type of packaging naman is yung pang-apatan. Binili ko rin siya sa Bakery Supply Store and this is 15 pesos each. So, nandito na tayo sa part ng costing sa ating video. Paalala lang, ang costing na to is nag-base sa time, date, location ng pinagbilhan ko ng mga ingredients. Mas best pa rin if magko-costing kayo na sa inyo para mas accurate. Okay? This is just an example. So, dalawang beses tayo magko-costing. Number one is yung box na pang-apatan. Next is yung box na pang-isahan. So, start tayo din sa pang-apatan. Okay, so ingredients natin, ang nag natin sa cupcake ay 76.40 pesos. Para naman sa ating ganache filling, that's 64.85 pesos. Para naman sa buttercream frosting, that's 161.35 pesos. In total, ang ating ingredients ay 302.60 pesos. Ngayon, kung namamahalan kayo, pwede nyo naman tanggalin yung ganache filling para hindi ganun kalakihan yung expenses sa ingredients. But for me, gusto ko nagyan ng ganache filling para mas extra yung cupcake natin. Para naman sa other ingredients, sa toppings, ang nag ko doon ay 31.64 pesos. Para naman sa other expenses such as yung boxes, cupcake liners, gasol, labor costs, that's 147.50 pesos. So, in total, yung other expenses natin ay 179.14 pesos. Ngayon, pagplasin natin yung ingredients and other expenses, ang total puhunan natin ay 481.74 pesos. Para malaman natin yung puhunan per cupcake, alamin muna natin kung ilang cupcake yung nagawa natin. Ang nagawa natin dito ay 20 pieces. Okay? So, divide natin siya doon sa total puhunan. 481.74 pesos divided by 20. Ang puhunan natin, each cupcake ay 24.08 pesos. Ang bentahan natin dito ay 200 pesos. So, sa, dahil apat nga yung laman ng boxes natin and 20 yung nagawa natin, in total, limang box yung magagawa natin dito. So, 200 times 5, ang kita natin ay 1,000 pesos. So, para malamin natin yung tubo, yung puhunan, i-minus natin sa kita. So, 1,000 pesos minus 481.74 pesos, that's 518.26 pesos. So, yun yung tubo natin a day. Kung gagawin nyo to daily. So, yung sa tubo na yun, tanggal na doon yung expenses, labor costs, puhunan, and all. Sa yung sa'yo na yung 518.26. Ngayon, what if nagbabalak kang gawin to everyday and ibebenta mo sa office or sa mga friends mo and all? Ang tubo mo monthly doon ay 15,547.80 pesos. So, not bad na kung gagawin niyo siyang sideline or full-time. Imagine, sa 20 pieces ng cupcakes mo a day, ganito kalaki yung kikitain mo. Next, what if naman kung per piece yung ibebenta natin? 
So, ang babaguhin lang naman natin doon is yung presyo ng boxes. So, yung boxes na gagamitin natin kasi ay 7 pesos. Medyo may kamahalan nga lang siya kasi per piece natin siya ibebenta. So, per piece din yung bagiging boxes natin. So, 7 pesos times 20, that's 140 pesos. So, tanggalin lang natin yung um, boxes dun sa other expenses dun sa nauna and then ipalit natin to. So, other expenses natin magiging 212.50 pesos. Ang total puhunan natin ay magiging 515.10 pesos. So, ang puhunan natin each cupcake ay magiging 25.75 pesos. Retail selling price natin is 50 to 60 per piece. Ngayon, kung medyo namamahalan kayo, pwede nyo bawasan yung ibang ingredients such as yung ganache, pwede nyo tanggalin or hanap kayo ng ibang box na pwede gamitin. This is just an example. So, 50 to 60 pesos per piece ang bentahan. Sabihin na natin, bebenta natin siya sa 55 pesos. So, 55 times 20, ang magiging kita mo dyan ay 1,100 pesos. Ang magiging tubo mo doon daily ay 584.90 pesos. Ngayon, kung nagbabalak ang ibenta to everyday let's say sa office nyo, sa friends mo sa 20 pieces na cupcakes mo a day, ang magiging tubo mo dun monthly ay 17,547 pesos so just imagine 20 pieces lang gagawin mo a day wala pang isang oras or maybe isang oras mong ginawa to a day and ganito nakalaki yung magiging kita mo so not bad na kung gagawin mo siyang sideline or full time na trabaho okay so I don't know kung blurred ako but Giveaway time! So, a little bit of story time bago tong mechanics natin. Actually, many have emailed me for a collaboration. Brands na gusto collaborate, But I personally pick Dutch chocolates. Number one, because it's affordable. Second, it's convenient. Kahit sa supermarket, mabibili mo siya. And also, it's delicious. And alam niyo naman na ginagamit ko talaga siya personally. Uh, kung, kung mapapanood mo yung ibang videos ko. Gusto ko sana yung mga products na i-giveaway ko, hindi lang siya products na, alam mo yun, uh, walang sense sa niche ng videos ko. I want it to be products na alam kong magkikater talaga sa audience ko, which are aspiring bakers, aspiring entrepreneurs. And ito mga gamit na to, or yung mga products na to, magagamit nyo siya. Whether you wanna bake lang, or you wanna use it for your business. And may complete guide din yung mga videos ko on how to use it and where to use it. Also, apart from that is, did you know Dutch Chocolates is actually a local company? And hindi lang siya local company. Yung cacao na ginagamit nila para sa chocolates na pinoproduce nila is actually coming from here in the Philippines as well. So yung cacao na yun ang gagaling sa farmers natin sa Davao. We're not only supporting their company, we're also supporting the local farmers. Which is, we, we know kung gano, alam mo yun. Gano nahihirapan yung mga local farmers natin. Anyway, giveaway time. There's gonna be two platforms kung saan ko siya gaganapin. Dito sa YouTube. And the other one is sa Facebook. Paalala lang, this giveaway is para sa mga taga-Philippines only. So, if you are going to participate on YouTube, here are gonna be the mechanics. Number one, like and subscribe because this giveaway is for my awesome viewers only. Like Dutch Chocolates page. Link will be provided down below. And if you want to go and comment on their page as well, pwede nyo gawin yun. Number three, comment down below the answer to this question. What have you learned today? So kahit ano yan, whether you learned how to make cupcakes or you've learned how to play piko, kahit ano, mababaw, malalim, okay lang. Basta masagot nyo lang yun. And put the hashtag DutchChocolatePH. And number four, add in your Facebook name and location so that I can easily reach out to you. Here are the giveaway products. So, 4 350 grams ng chocolate chip, 2 500 grams ng cocoa powder, 5 500 grams ng dark chocolate bar, and 1 500 grams ng premium chocolate bar. And that's it! Yun lang yung gagawin nyo. Para naman sa Facebook users, here are the mechanics. Number one, like the post that I will make. Maglalagay ako dun ng picture sa page ko. Uh, I'll be putting the link down below, don't worry guys. And also like the chocolates page. Again, link will be provided down below. Number two, sa picture na ipopost ko, tag three friends on the comments section and put the hashtag Dutch chocolate PH. And that's it. Yun lang yun. That's all you need to do, guys. Here are the giveaway products. Four 350 grams ng chocolate chips, two 500 grams ng cocoa powder, 
5 500 grams ng dark choco bar and 1 500 grams ng white choco bar. So thank you again Dutch Philippines for partnering with me and also providing this giveaway products. So I will be picking the two lucky winners by this date. Yan, I'm giving it one week para sa mga tao, you know, hindi naman lahat agad-agad makakapanood itong video. So bibigyan natin siya ng mas mahabang timeline para lahat ng tao maka-join and mas madaming tao ang maka-join pala. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new and see you on my next video. Bye. God bless everyone. Both called it from the beginning. Called it. Knew that the right to be